Hey guys, welcome to part two of this uh, slideshow, vlog, whatever you want to call it. Today we're going to be focusing on everything else that happened at Tokyo Game Show because I was not stuck at the K-Lab booth all day. I had the opportunity to go and check out all the other booths available. So this, uh, this video will be covering that. There's a few things of interest, but for the most part I'm just going to talk a little bit about everything. Like, I'm not really sure how interesting some of these booths are, but I took a picture of a whole bunch of them, so maybe you'll have one or two that are a bit interesting for you, at least. So, let's begin, and I'm not really sure how long this one will be. Uh, this one will just be just everything else that happened at Tokyo Game Show, so I actually have no idea what Korean Pavilion is. Uh, I just took a picture of it because I could. So this was Sega, a Sega and Atlas booth, pretty big. Uh, this was... I don't remember the name of the booth, but they were testing some new kind of uh, technology where you could interact with uh, the, the Neko girl on the screen, and then she would interact in response. I can see uh, someone tapped her, and then she became all happy, so... Here are some images of... I think this is a Toho game? It was also like nearby the the Sega Atlas booth. Well, the one below is a Toho game. The one above, I'm not really sure. SNK Heroines. But this is a Steins Gate for the uh, PS4 and the Vita. Like these were just banners that I saw that I felt like taking a couple of pictures of. Uh, okay, this are these are some um, mobile games. I'm not sure if they're out yet or maybe they're they're already out. Uh, one of them is called Ready. It's like a Boydol game, I think. The other is, um... Idola, which ironically is not the idol game. It's... I think it's some sort of, uh, RPG. And this was, uh, the Capcom booth. This one was also pretty big as well. They were showcasing uh, Mega Man 11, which... By the time this video comes out, will probably be released already, but... Uh, we got to have, like, a sneak peek of a lot of Mega Man 11 footage there. Some more images here, some banners and whatnot. Street Fighter, also owned by Capcom. And uh, here's some interesting things. Uh, the I walked to the Bushi Road booth, and the Bushi Road booth is where they had like Bang Dream stuff. It wasn't too big because the Bushi Road booth was shared with a whole bunch of other games as well. It just had like one of the corners, and uh, they showed off the, the five bands. They showed off some things like they made a pretend studio, pretend circle house. You, you couldn't touch anything but uh, you could definitely take pictures of them. You can see a whole bunch of like the, the chibi stands from Garpa Pico and uh, a lot of the, the singles. You can also see some music equipment. And there were like posters for each of the bands as well as advertising Garpa Pico. And then next door to the Bang Dream booth was, um, Roove Starlight. And if you don't know, um, they're gonna have a mobile game released very soon. Uh, they, they said, uh, fall of 2018, so if I had to guess, it'll probably be released in, uh, November, if not December? But yeah, Roove uh, Starlight is, like, a new, it's not really, like, an idol anime, but it's, there's, they're definitely kind of, like, singers. Theatrical Girls. Interesting, I haven't really watched it yet. Um, it's on my to-watch list. Uh, there's the stands of a whole bunch of characters. There's also a whole bunch of say you, you might know that actually voice some of these characters. Like, the blue one is voiced by Mimorine. And again, yeah, that's probably one of the reasons I'll watch it. I think one of the girls is also voiced by Ai Ai. Um, the, the say you for um, Yukina, for Bang Dream. And next off we have, there was like some live 2D showcases for, I think is from the game? Because we didn't actually see any gameplay footage for uh, Rue Starlight. I'm probably butchering the name of the series, but... Rue Rue <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, they were showing off various um, characters in their live 2D models. I'm expecting that to be uh, one of the features in the game as well. And then in the corner here, they just had some screenshots. I'm not really sure. I, I think 
these are like maybe art from the game or maybe it's like official art that they print in various magazines uh i'm not sure what this is i think it's uh carvite vanguard because i heard that they recently like redid the entire game of vanguard so maybe they're advertising for that and then this is uh, the Bushi Road like main stage. This is where they had all their live broadcasts. I was fortunate enough to be able to watch the first one live, one where they announced the All Stars uh, opening movie. And also there was like the Twitch booth was right in front of the Bushi Road one, so I could actually have like a very nice seat since I was a Twitch partner and I to just sit my ass down while all the rest of these people had to like stand over there. So I got some very nice uh like view time but as respect I did not take any pictures of the stream because uh they're really really anal about that. You really don't want to uh, take any pictures of that. Here's some pictures of the Twitch booth. Uh there's schedule for Tokyo Game Show. I got free green tea um, for entering the booth, and these are some DX Racer chairs that they were displaying. And uh, this was before the, the live stream started. I I was allowed to take pictures like before like any of the girls came up on, uh, but aside from that, no sorry. And then here was like uh, one of the brochures or like one of the I'm not really sure what to call this like mini poster. Uh, that you could take from the Bang Dream booth. Uh, when I went on the first business day and it wasn't very busy, I was allowed to take all five of them. But as it got progressively more busy, they ran out. So then on the following day, they restricted it so that you could only take one of them. So I just took like a picture of the Popping Party one, and the other four are pretty much the same thing. They show like the band in the front, and in the back, there's like a uh, extensive breakdown on the five characters, some original songs and cover songs that they do. Well, this is the Google Play area. You, There was like a kind of scavenger hunt stamp rally kind of thing that you could do. And I did do it. I didn't get anything good from the rewards though, but uh, you would go around Tokyo Game Show Convention Center and then uh, getting these like but scan QR codes, and then once you amassed enough points, you could spend the points to pull in the giant gacha machine, uh, which you can kind of see here. Here's some uh, pictures of games that I have no idea existed until I saw them. I think they're like from DMM, I'm not really too sure. Yeah, they're definitely from DMM, because uh, I remember going to the Unitia booth because they had a gacha machine and I'm a sucker for those. So if you saw like my Twitter, me posting random Japanese tweets, retweets from things you might have never heard of, that's usually why that happened because they encourage people to, oh, if you want to pull in the gacha machine, you have to like retweet our post on Twitter. No, it's an interesting way to get like some viral marketing done. I did get something good from that uh, gacha machine though. Like, I think I got like a, one of those water bottles or like a thermos uh, and he was like displaying some of the prizes you could get oh this was um like they were showing off the new kill la kill fighting game i think uh peaky is some sort of i don't want to say like an indie studio but uh, one of their games featured like a whole bunch of indie series like cave story and the binding of isaac so they have some sort of association with, with indie games. Oh this game! This game is this game was a mistake, but it just kind of emphasized Japan in a nutshell because this was like this is on the Nintendo Switch, but we'll never get it, like never get it in the in the West. Because the whole gimmick of this game is that uh, you're it's like a dungeon crawler, but the more experience you get, the, the larger your breasts get. And they were kind of advertising it as this like innovative a transformative gameplay um you can become a z cup after getting so much experience and like don't even change japan don't don't even change oh uh, i think this is an, another tales game if i'm not mistaken or, no 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 i think that's the one behind it but 
I'm not really too sure what this is. I just took a picture of it because because it was interesting and someone was cosplaying. They had a lot of uh, like a lot of booths have um, cosplay showgirls to kind of you know get people interested, uh, if not just for the girl. But here's some more games that I've never heard of. Maybe mobile, maybe not. Oh, this one's interesting. This is by Konami, and uh, it's another kind of boidal game, but I don't think they're idols, I think they're just like, dancers, so maybe some sort of like new dancing game or like new rhythm game uh, that'll be coming out soon, but yeah, hot guys. Oh, this is the Food Fantasy booth, and uh, I took some pictures of it, the, the, the booth wasn't actually very big, uh, but uh, they were advertising the game. I've heard of Food Fantasy before, I think there's an English version, or at least like, the game supports the English language, I don't really know, but uh, I've heard of this game, I'm not sure if it's my type of game, but I think it can be pretty fun, especially if you're like interested in culinary stuff. Um, Dolls Frontline. This was another game. Not to be confused with Girls Frontline, which is another, another a mobile game. I'm not even sure if they're like the same thing. Maybe this is just Girls Frontline. Maybe Dolls Frontline is what they called it in Japanese. But I took a lot of pictures of it because um, they were very uh, interesting stuff. Not sure what this is. Not sure what this is either. A lot of pictures I took, I just took them for the sake of taking them. Um, because I, I don't recognize pretty much like 80% of the games that were shown there, but you know, maybe it'll be relevant in the future. Ah, uh, here's some cosplay ship girls. Here's the Square Enix booth. It was the biggest booth out of all of the other companies, I believe. You can see like Dragon Quest, uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Monster Hunter, Final Fantasy. Like, that was a, a huge attraction. A lot of people went to that booth. Konami booth, and there was, um, Bomberman, like some dude, I, I'm assuming employed by them to like stand around being Bomberman all day. Uh, advertising their new Bomberman game, I think. This was Duel Links, and this was advertising the introduction of, I mean, like, 5Ds, Synchros, that game. Some Super Bomberman. These are some pictures I took of, like, the... The Google Play stuff, because I was doing the scavenger hunt. And uh, here was the, the stands for All Stars in the Bushi Road booth. I, I couldn't access this earlier, but later on in the day, they opened it up. And then you could take pictures of them, but definitely could not like, touch them or anything. And then here's some pictures of uh, All Stars details. They just outline that it's a new story um, featuring all three of these groups and coming out in 2019, sad face. Oh, more things I don't know about. More Google Play. Not sure. Uh, this is... I think this is the company that did, like, art for... Um, Magia Record. Which is, like, the Madoka Magica game. On mobile. Oh, this is 100% orange juice. This isn't a mobile game, but... It's, uh, it's a really fun board game on Steam. I used to play it a whole bunch. Way back when I, I wasn't a YouTuber before, uh, but like that was my precedent. This game holds many good memories for me because it was, it was my life before becoming like a mobile game addict. Like, nice uh, cosplay pictures of uh, uh, two of the girls from that game. Advertising like another game from their series. Uh, there's some more. Oh, this I think that's one of the characters from Yokai Watch. I, I I don't remember this picture. And uh, more things I don't know about. PS4, PS Vita, Switch. Like if, if I just see like a cute girl or like hot guys, I just take a picture of it because maybe someone will enjoy it. More Yokai Watch, I think. This was the Gung Ho booth actually. They didn't show any Puzzle and Dragons, but. Uh, they had a whole bunch of other games to display. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Oh, oh th I think that this was uh, advertising, um, like, college. 
as the um, like game design or like art school. And it was very, very interesting to learn that they would advertise something like that over there. Or, oh, this was Cyber Agent's booth. Um, not really too much interesting. Like, not of the ma none of the major games that we know from Cyber Agent uh, were featured. Big, uh, big dudes. Big cute dudes. Um, big hot dudes. Uh, Persona. Well, that's how much uh, Google Play points I had at the end of all this. 430. So then I could do like four pulls in the gacha, and all four of them were trash. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, un unless you want to watch some um, Japanese SpongeBob that I took pictures of. Uh, you can watch that on Twitter, because I think I posted that on Twitter. And then this was like the commemorative bag that K Lab gave to me uh, with like all their stuff that they were giving out to people. But instead, they just gave me everything, like one of everything, so I wouldn't have to like waste time getting it myself. There's like some uh, All Star stickers and Lapis Re lights, a K Lab fan, and and this was my breakfast on the pre on the following morning. But uh, we'll we'll follow up with that in the next video. The next one we'll be talking about uh, Love Live Pilgrimage in uh, Akihabara. So definitely do, you do want to watch. You definitely do want to watch that one because there's going to be a lot of Love Live stuff that I will share. Yeah, I oh, hope you enjoyed this segment and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.